Come on, Macy, you ready? What you grab? I thought you was getting a snack snack for your bag. You can tie your shoes so we can get going. Come on. Y'all can't bring snack to school no more? That's silly. That's not, that's not fair. Okay, hurry up, man. Yeah. But I mean, you better hurry up. Now it's time to focus on myself. Finally getting a chance to sit and eat breakfast. I have one huge strawberry cut up, some well overcooked bacon, scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese in it, my ice water, and a nice fat keto coffee as well. All right, so it's Friday. It is midday, right about 11.45 or so. I have not even gotten dressed for the day. Oh goodness gracious. I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed and anxious. I have a thousand things that I had on my list that I wanted to get accomplished today. And well, it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. The most important things are getting done, which is what's important. But yeah, the hubby just called. He's getting off early, possibly. He's not quite sure. First he called and said, He'll be ready for 4 o'clock, 4.30. I was like, okay, I'll be that way. Then he called back and said, oh, no, I'll be ready about 2.30. <sighs> now, I'm thinking to myself, self, why, 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 why? Anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. I feel a little bit overwhelmed, so I need to just take a moment, take a deep breath, reevaluate what I'm going to do, reevaluate my list pretty much because I just feel like the day is pretty much gone. Um, I mean, damn, it's only 11.45, but it takes me an hour to get to him and then an hour for us to get back on this side. And then we need to stop by the mechanic shop and pick up his car. Um, side note, $160 later, he didn't have any oil in his vehicle. That was his issue. So the guy did an oil change, put oil in, cleaned the motor off or 
I don't know, something. And I guess whatever he did to check everything else came out to $160. So that sucks. But apparently that's what it was, which is really a good thing. If that was the only issue is why his truck was doing a home shake. And I keep saying truck or car. He has a little SUV. It's a RAV4. It's a cross between an SUV, a, a truck, and a car. So anyway, his vehicle. Um... If it only needed oil, that's a good thing because then it's not a major repair. So I'm happy with that. I'll pay the 160 and we'll keep it moving and keep our fingers crossed that that was, in fact, the issue. But anyways, my issue now is it's 1145. I spent a, about a good 30 minutes doing voiceovers for an upcoming video for you guys. Um, so that video is rendering and exporting, doing all of its stuff to get ready to be uploaded. Um, got laundry in for myself. I don't do, I don't, well, I should say I don't do. I put laundry to wash, like if baskets are full, I'll put laundry to wash, but I don't fold anyone else's laundry. I will fold towels, but I only fold and put up my laundry and Mason's, which I'm getting to the point now with Mason, his stuff goes in my laundry basket. I wash all of his stuff and then I'm just putting it to the side and when he comes home, he can put everything up because, well, he's old enough and he can do it. So anyways. Got Lola bathed. That's always a Friday morning chore to get her bath done, get all of her bedding washed. So all of that's being done now. Her bedding is in the washer. My clothes are in the dryer. I was getting ready since my video, I just finished that. I was getting ready to record another video. But it would require me to actually get dressed and comb my hair and I just don't feel like it. Which I have to at this point is I have to get out to get the hubby. Then I need to go and pay the mortgage. We're going to go by the mechanic shop to get his vehicle. Um, I got to go and get a money order. Just all the things. All the things. Jada's dance is due and stuff. So I need to pay that. But anyways. All right. I'm just sitting here moping now. Now I'm wasting time. I could have been up and been productive. I could at least have put on a shirt and a bra because I ain't got one on. It is what it is. Whew. But today it's just, again, it was going great. And I was like, okay, I have all this time until I have to get out the house roughly about 3, 3.30. Then I can go and run a few errands, head to pick up the hubby for 5, and I'll be good. But that is not the case now. So, I'm going to stop yapping, pull myself together, regroup my to-do list, get dressed, and go get my husband from work. So... All right, so here's the skinny. I've been sitting at the husband's job for like the last 25, almost 30 minutes. And he never came out. He's not ready. Yeah, he's not ready. He's working on a report and he can't leave. So, my stomach is touching my back. Legit. There's a jack and a crack up the street. I know. I know. I should have grabbed a salad. Because I have some salad pre-made in the refrigerator at home. I should have grabbed a salad, but I did not. I did not. So I'm going to Jack and Crack. I'm going to get me a salad. I have a bottle of water, and that's what I'm going to eat. Go back. Hopefully the man is ready by then. Bring him to pick up his ride. Still need to go get the money order because Jada's going to need that first thing tomorrow morning. She has dance practice for an upcoming dance um, showcase or something that we have in a couple weeks. Um, yeah, so still going to get the money order. I need to get by the bank. Won't have it because I haven't even had a chance to sit down in front of the computer to look at the account to see how much the check was, the budget, and do all that stuff. All the adult stuff. Didn't do that. So. The time is 3.20, 3.20, Jack in the crack, go back for the hubby, bring him to get his vehicle, get the money order, and then I'm going to go home and I'm chilling on the sofa for the next hour and a half because we have Jalen's um, fashion show tonight, so that is it. I'm chilling, I'm chilling hard. I, tonight I was going to, I don't know what I'm making for dinner. We were on the, on the menu, I have egg sandwiches made, but that means I would have to come home and actually make the eggs and toast the bread. I'm like, at this point, I done capped out for the day. Like, I done quit for the day. I'm done. I quit. So, I did go to the grocery store last night, and I brought um, a 
the journal no pizza, two of them. So I think the kids are just gonna have pizza. That's that. I have my salad with some steak in the refrigerator. That's what I'll eat for dinner tonight. So that is an update for you. That is it. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta know when just to throw in the towel, I think, so that you don't stress yourself out. You don't get overwhelmed as I was feeling earlier and stuff. Like there's a lot of other things I want to get done, but I have to focus on the most important things and get those done. It, it just is what it is. We have a super busy weekend ahead of us. Um, like just all the things so it's just you know it's life i'm not complaining about that i feel incredibly blessed to be in a position that we are in to where our kids are able to participate in extracurricular activities at school and outside of school um and in the position to where i can stay home and be able to do all the crazy and get all the, the crazy organized so that everybody else in the family is taken care of so I'm not complaining about that at all. Just a little overwhelmed earlier, so I'm just taking a deep breath. And I refocus, wrote out a list of what's most important, and I need a little sanity because I'll be hitting the ground running first thing tomorrow morning. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to chill out for the rest of the night. And that's it. And our next big activity tonight will be Jalen's fashion show. And that'll be that. Everything else... We'll just have to get done when it gets done. And I will apologize to my couponing friends out there. I wanted to get the breakdown done. I, I may be able to do that tomorrow night, Saturday night, and um, have that all typed up and have it posted because as it's looking now, I highly doubt I get to CVS on Sunday. Like, I really doubt that that happens. So I'll probably just, I'll type up my breakdown of what deals I plan on doing. And then I'll post that for my couponing friends because I highly doubt I get to CVS on Sunday. It's just, um, we just have a lot going on this weekend. So I really just don't think it's going to happen. And I'm, I'm really trying to stay intentional with focusing on family and making sure that, you know, I move from being full-time daycare and not doing daycare full-time. I have other things and other, you know, hustles that I do, but... I moved from that so that I could be more available for my family throughout the day. And then also, you know, once they're home, once they're home and physically in the house to be present with them, whether it's just chilling out with Mason while he plays the game or watch some silly cartoon or hanging out with Madison, talking about all the girly stuff and painting nails or doing dance showcases with Jada because she be in there trying to twerk it. I got to show her that I'm the twerk queen up in here. Or whatever, or just, you know, irritating Jalen to no extent, asking him all the questions, even though he don't want to talk to me. Whatever it is, I, I moved from the daycare, you know, went part time towards, um, went part time with the daycare. I only have a few kids, and they're really self sufficient, all school age kids, in order to be more present with my family. And what I have found, and this is, you know, please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not complaining. I'm not whining don't take this the wrong way it's nothing to do with um just don't take it the wrong way but what i found is that more and more i am moving youtube into a more full-time position in my life if that makes sense um and again i enjoy the platform i love sharing on youtube whether it's sharing couponing whether it's sharing um you know how we budget how we handle certain situations just whatever i enjoy it i really really do and with that what what happens for a creator um and if there's any other creators out there watching this video um comment below and give me your thoughts but what happens for a creator is that we get creative and we want to expand on our content and our creativity within making that content and putting it out there and there's quite a bit of work that goes into that quite a bit of things that go into it on the back end to get a video up whether you do any editing any cuts adding music any slow mo fast mo whatever whatever it is that you do there's some sort of back end work that goes into it 
and I'm finding that for me I'm moving YouTube into that full-time place and I have to be very careful I, I feel personally I have to be very careful not that I don't enjoy YouTube um, as a consumer of it um, and as a content creator I absolutely do and I love it um, but I have to remind myself constantly that it's not a full-time job for me um, and it is a hobby and it is a creative outlet but family and home life comes first if that makes sense and again please don't take it the wrong way I so enjoy when life just lines up perfectly for me I'm able to you know create content get it out there and really engage and interact with you guys and I appreciate all of you who just sticks around and hangs out with me that comments comments on my videos um, you guys check with me on Instagram and Facebook like I appreciate y'all so so very much like from the bottom of my heart I appreciate y'all um, it's just me I just gotta remember that YouTube is a hobby and not a full-time gig and like a day like today when I was going to be focused like I've been doing things throughout the week to um, create content and get you know keep the channel going I thought process oh, whatever I can get this and that going um, today on Friday get that stuff done that would be for next week on the channel and well that's that's just it didn't happen it's just it's not the case so now it's just about regrouping prioritizing what content is most valuable um, and it's kind of hard to say too because what I'm passionate about um, anyways I, it's now it's just about regrouping and figuring out what content to focus on to get up and get out on the channel and then just going from there so taking it day by day is what I'm saying but anyways um, I'm about to pull into the jack in the crack and get me something to eat because again my stomach is touching my back so um, yeah I'll I don't know maybe chat with you guys later if not I will see you guys at Jayla's fashion show tonight the is crooked it's because the force of my wings is shooky out of my style shut and uniqueness golden skin and shade of brown full swing by queen all the way around my crown is a personality tilted to the side sophisticatedly pull it forward gently lean it back boldly I exchange our money for a money exchange. I am from 21 as I express myself posing for Eric Possible, not only the J. Crew. Blasting my red bottoms, ooh, this is Jimmy Choo. With an American Eagle on my shoulder because I'm fly, I got the haters questioning why. If your crown is crooked, it's because the force of my wind just shook it. When I walk into a room, my presence sucks up all the air, the fragrance of my perfume, the unique kinkiness of my hair. The train of my purple Versace dress sweeping the floor. Head up, back straight, have them wanted for more. <laughs> Me and my Gucci handbag are the perfect pair. Beyonce and Jay-Z, Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire. So remember, if your crown is crooked, it's because the force of my wind just shook it. They all come to see the crown, but it sits on the baddest queen around. Red Cohen. <laughs>
ਸਾਰੀ ਅੱਗੇ ਨਾਲ ਦੀ